Cublets, welcome back to another Bear With Me with me, Bear Elliot. When you think about the 80s, as a gay man, what do you think? Now, I was talking specifically to the gay men that happen to watch my channel, because a lot of guys that watch my channel just happen to be gay. But when you think about the 80s, what do you think about? I think if you are a gay man, the first thing that pops into your mind, especially if you were born during that time or if you lived through that time, is the AIDS epidemic and how our society was drastically affected and our community was drastically affected by the HIV virus and AIDS and what the our government decided to just pass away and just be like, oh, it doesn't exist. It's the gay cancer. And because it was primarily affecting the gay community, our government really didn't want to do anything about it. Thanks, Reagan. But what about those individuals that lived through the 80s and the 90s, they got introduced to new medicines. And no longer was AIDS and HIV a death sentence, it now became just something that you were living with in regards to it was manageable. And to this day, it's still manageable. You don't know what to do at this point because you had basically thought, okay, I have a death sentence. And a lot of these guys, they migrated, specifically in the West Coast, they migrated to Palm Springs, to the desert. And large community of gay, HIV, and AIDS positive guys were finding themselves living longer. Now they're in their 60s and what are they going to do? How do they manage life when they didn't think that they had a life to manage? That is the topic of this amazing documentary that I cannot wait to see. It's called Desert Migration, and it is beautiful. So here's the trailer of this film. I think you need to check it out, and I'll catch you on the other side. I don't think very many people arrive in the desert without having some sort of story. People would disappear. You'd see them one week, they'd look worse, and you wouldn't see them again. I was developing a social circle with people who were dying. And just like Lazarus, we were back from the dead. I've tried to structure my life where I would not be a freak. In Palm Springs, lots of men who have HIV, whose lives have been jumbled about because of that. I came here with the express intent to live. When you come through that path, it's like Lost Horizons. You're like 15 years younger than you were on the other side of that path. So many of us flooded out of our communities. It was like an exodus. We did, we did lose our homes. We couldn't afford to manage this illness. We set ourselves up as a distinct and defined community because we have been marginalized and people have been prejudiced against us. So many people from my era have it. The ones that have it here now are the ones that were able to survive. Wow, that is the first impression that I got when I got to see the trailer for Desert Migration. Daniel Carden's documentary is just amazing. Cinematography-wise, it is gorgeous. How he captured the desert, contrasting with these men and their life stories, and it follows several HIV-positive men that didn't think that they were going to be seeing their 60s. They moved to the desert to basically find themselves. And now in 2016, 2015, 
they are now living with HIV, knowing that they have an extended life that they never thought they could have. Now, where can you see this movie? It's not one of these kind of films that you're going to be able to see. Like a lot of documentaries, you don't get to see them in main theaters. This film is making its appearance in film festivals around the United States. Now, for you to be able to see this, you need to go to Desert Migration film.com find out where this movie is playing in your local area maybe you might have to travel to it also contact them about you want to see this more because this movie needs to get out here this is a topic as gay men that we don't really get to talk about all that much or get to see on the big screen of okay we've lived through the 80s and the 90s the diagnosis the multiple deaths now we have medication that can extend our life that we can continue to live a productive and life that we didn't think that we were going to be able to have back in the 80s so this film is so so important to the lgbt community it needs to be seen as much as possible because it gives you a just it really just from the trailer i felt rejuvenated of wow these guys are amazing their strength of living through being diagnosed back in the 80s and then being introduced to the medications in the 90s it's just it, it's it's amazing what they come from and how they're living today and i gotta tell you these guys are hot oh i mean i like the older guys anyways but these guys are really attractive and it's really sweet to see them finding love and finding their community um, in, in the desert for a place that's known for death and for decay and to see these beautiful specimen of men and having to deal with, okay, their older generation in the older stages of their life, having to deal with clothing that, okay, is for a younger man and Speedos, which a lot of them can really pull up the good Speedo. So check this out. It's called Desert Migration. Check out the website, desertmigrationmovie.com. And also, make sure that you go see this. Support this with your dollars because we need to have more documentaries about this. And these documentaries are so important because they are showing our history as LGBT, especially us gay men that lived through this and not to discourage the ladies out there. But this definitely affected our community the hardest. So go out there. Support this. I think it's great. So until next time, have yourself a wonderful day. Bye, Cobblet! I could go out in the dark and see you calling my name. I hear you shouting, hear you calling, but it's not the same. Every word that you are throwing right into my back doesn't matter to me, cause I'm keeping my trick. Let me go. Let me go